So I have wrote down a couple of things that I want to talk about that happened on Raw. Uh, and basically they're a little bit broad uh, and they're not that specific to that Raw episode because I haven't been making videos for a long time and I kind of want to talk about these things and want to cover them the big picture, you know? So the first thing I want to talk about the Dominic and the North American title is something that I really like, like Dominic obviously have reached the next level with all the fans booing him, he's so over and I really like the fact that he took the North American title because the, the one option is to take the US Championship and the other option is to take the Intercontinental Championship Dominic is not yet ready for the World Heavyweight Championship or the WWE Championship. So I think this is a good opportunity for Dominic to get the North American title uh, and just raise it to a different level, put it on the main roster, on the line. He already put it twice on the line, on the main roster, once on SmackDown, once on Raw. and. I feel like the fans are not really familiar with the North American title at the first place and that is a good opportunity for the title, good opportunity for Dominic, I really enjoy it. Another thing I want to talk about is Becky versus, versus Trish. I'm getting sick of it, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I really didn't enjoy how that storyline went down. I guess Lita was injured or whatever, but I think that they could have the tag team titles for a little bit longer and they could have pulled the trigger a little bit late but I'm not really invested into that feud and and on top of that it's getting a little bit long but hopefully this will all end at SummerSlam and to be fair with you I want it to end but at the same time I want something with Lita to happen, Lita to return or and help Trish or help Becky and get involved in there. I was really hoping for, for a little return after the first time Trish beat Becky, but that didn't happen, so yeah, please either end it or either some juice, add some juice to it, something, you know. Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso Ciampa since his return is amazing. Uh, it's the same vibe as NXT and I really enjoy it. The problem that I have with the recent episode of Raw is that Bronson Reed, the big Bronson Reed, beat Tommaso Ciampa. I don't know if this is a good call. Tommaso Ciampa finally found his character, found his group on the main roster and you put him against another guy that needs to find his groove on the main roster and he loses. I don't know if it was a good call these two guys to have a match in the first place and I don't think that the Master Champa should have taken the loss because I think he should have a winning streak until the point he faces the Miz and I think he needs even to get over the Miz he needs, a little, he needs a serious push in order to get over, seriously. Uh, Real Ripley title reign, I love Real Ripley. I sincerely love Real Ripley. I think Real Ripley versus Charlotte Flair WrestleMania was 10 stars match. It was. It is a match that I'm willing to show to every one of my friends and I'm pretty sure that they're gonna become wrestling fans. It was amazing match, Rhea Ripley is super badass, I love Rhea Ripley, as I said, I love the things that are happening with Dominic online and offline, uh, nothing is happening offline, they're just friends offline, but it's awesome. But there is something that's bothering me about, that, uh, about her title reign. Have you noticed that since she won that championship, she haven't defended once. Once. We're not even talking about defending it week to week. And I'm afraid that that will play her in the long run. Because right now it's okay, it's cool. Like, she still asserts dominance even though she's not defending the title because she broke Natalia, she broke Liv in the latest episode of Raw, she broke, uh, Mer uh, not Mercedes, 
Rodriguez, whatever, but she haven't defended the title yet. And that's bothering me a little bit, because why do you have a title if you're not working with it, right? Just to look cool? I don't know. The title looks cool on her. Like, I cannot imagine any other person with that title, but just, just don't be afraid to put it online, dominate everyone, be like the next big woman thing, but I don't know. Look, I'm not a booker. I'm just expressing my opinion. I love Rhea Ripley. I think the title is in the right hands, but I feel like in the wrong, long run, if she continues not to defend this title, the fans will turn on her. The real wrestling fans, not me. I'm, I don't care. I'm here for the storylines. You know that. Everyone knows that. I'm more of a storyline guy than the actual wrestling match, but Rio is the full package, I'm sure that she can pull that off. <sighs> Another thing I want to talk about is Drew McIntyre versus Gunther. It's definitely gonna be a banger, uh, everyone knows that, but I don't know if it's the right call, because we all know that Gunther is gonna retain. I think WWE is aiming for making him the longest reigning intercontinental champion. Does Drew need the title? I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure that Drew is gonna lose and I don't know if Drew can lose at the moment. He's a little bit on a losing streak lately, I kinda want him to win, but I'm pretty sure he's not gonna win, so I don't know if this feud is the right call. On the other hand, if Gunther is having a feud like some mid-carter, it's gonna be better, you know? It's gonna be a little bit better, kind of, because we all know that that mid Carter is gonna lose and it's gonna extend his championship reign with another year or something. I don't know what is the right call, I just have a bad feeling about this one. The match is gonna be a banger at SummerSlam, no doubt about it, but I don't know how this will play out for Drew in the long run, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Exactly. Seth versus Finn is kind of a similar situation. We all know that the title is in Seth because Seth can pull it off, can make it big, uh, can defend it every week. He's so good. His first feud to be with Finn is a double-edged sword because I want to see Finn as a champion. We all want to see Finn as a champion, I feel like, but we all know that Finn is not gonna be a champion, and that breaks my heart. Another thing that breaks my heart is that Finn wants to be a champion, but Damien Priest is money in the bank holder, and that means that the Judgment Day is gonna be over soon. I love the Judgment Day. I love the Judgment Day from day one when Edge introduced it with Damien. And it can become so much bigger than it is right now, in my opinion. Um, so I don't know if this is the right call. I'm really excited to see Seth versus Finn. I'm wondering if this is gonna be the end as well. I'm wondering if we are gonna see Seth versus Demon Finn. Uh, not in summer, not at SummerSlam, but maybe the next pay-per-view. Because Demon Finn is goated, you know? But if we see Demon Finn, we should see a victory from Demon Finn. I don't know. I'm just expressing my opinion. This is the first time in a few months. And I just wanted to turn on the camera, express my thoughts. For Raw, I'm gonna do the same. For NXT, I'm gonna do the same for SmackDown. And I'm just gonna see how it goes. Um, I'm planning to keep these videos unedited as possible. At the end of the day, I'm editing everything on all of my four channels my, myself, all my three channels, because the fourth one is for VODs, but... And uh, I don't have time to do everything, uh, and I want to do a lot of stuff, but... Um, yeah, I, I kind of want to get my thoughts out there. I want to hear what you guys think I love to see uh, other people's thoughts, I want to see other people's theories and uh, fan speculations and whatever and um, I kinda want to 
see what what will happen. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow. Peace.